Hi. 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 We're Tomorrow Lab, an invention studio focused on new hardware technology. We create prototypes and then turn them into market ready, manufacturable products. With the help of our potentially genius guests and our friends at DigiKey, we turn a potentially genius idea into a prototype of a potentially genius thing. All while giving you a peek into our four phase invention process. We are joined today by an old friend of Tomorrow Lab, Grace Mahari. She works on Project Sahai. I also hear that she's a sommelier. Sometimes she does some modeling and she's a new mom. Welcome, Grace. Hi, thank you for having me. Do you have an area you want to probe as a solar SOM model mom? Um, yes. What I would love to do is to create a charger that's either powered by solar or through kinetic energy while I am walking with my child in her stroller. And I was hoping that maybe you two could come up with something in that world. Excellent. Awesome, Grace. We're going to get to work building um, this uh, awesome new product for parents to keep them from getting stranded out there with dead phones and cranky toddlers. Sounds like a great plan. All right, I guess we're going to get to work. So we settled on this concept of a stroller with both a dynamo and a solar panel to generate as much power as possible. So to prototype this, we're going to order a series of different dynamos, both bottle dynamos and stepper motors. We can source one from DigiKey like this one right here. And then also we are looking at a variety of solar banks. We found this really high capacity solar bank on DigiKey. And then we sourced a number of other ones as well, including ones with fold out solar panels. Lastly, we needed a knob, like a really cool one so that you could dial up and down the, uh, the resistance. And we sourced this really cool red aluminum top for it. So it looks really spiff. We're planning to put uh, this wireless charger on the handlebars as well as having this nice solar panel on top of a stroller. It gives you a little bit of extra boost. This dynamo is gonna be connected to its gear train down at the bottom that will help us tune that power. So next steps for us here are to start to prototype the electronics and then on the mechanical components to figure out this uh, gear train system so that we can test this thing directly on a stroller. So now that we've breadboarded the circuit, we're gonna test the output voltage of the dynamo. Normally dynamos are meant for bikes that are that have a wheel that spins a lot faster. So we're gonna test out the dynamo as well as the separate motor and see how the output voltages compare. Now dynamo is basically just a motor in reverse. In this model, I'm showing a shaded pole motor. We have this iron core that makes a C shape and then we have an electromagnet on the left and a spinning magnet on the right. When we change the current in the coil, we induce a magnetic field in the core, and that causes the magnet on the right to flip, to orient with it. We keep changing the direction of that coil, and we keep changing the magnetic field, and our magnet flips over and over and over again, and it creates rotational energy. In a dynamo, we do the opposite. We flip the core over and over again with, say, the wheel of a stroller, and it creates a magnetic flux that causes an electrical current to go back and forth in that coil. When we look at that, it looks kind of like a sine wave. And what we want to do is rectify that so we just have positive peaks instead of positive and negative. When we get those positive peaks, we have more or less a consistent voltage, and we can use that voltage to charge our phone. So Dorian has asked me to make a little test rig to spin this wheel powered by a motor so that they can test how much power the dynamo is putting out. I'm just going to belt drive it off a DC motor and build a little stand. So after testing the separate motor and the dynamo, the separate motor is the clear winner here. So now that we're getting a steady output voltage using our rectifying circuit, I'm gonna convert that into five volts using our step down converter. Um, with that, we should be able to create five volts, which is perfect for a USB and we should be able to charge the battery from there. I'm making some nice housings, working on a nice little control panel, uh, just something that people can interact with that's not gonna be super intimidating uh, and it's gonna be easy to use. So I'm working on catting those up and getting them all printed out so that we can attach them onto the stroller and have our finished stroller 
uh, just in time for our meeting with Grace. So Grace, we are so happy to have you back. We are ready to show you our potentially genius thing. We're calling it stroller power. Woo! I love that. Oh, there's Dorian going by. What's happening in that picture? And we're generating electricity and we're storing it inside a battery pack. That's amazing. We built a custom phone holder um, at the top so you can put any size iPhone or Android device. It's all USB powered, so you can just swap out your own cable if you need to. We got a knob there, so you can turn it on and off. So that way, if you're going and you don't want the resistance from the stepper motor, you can just boop, turn it off. In the future, that knob is gonna go like up to like four. So you could like add resistance or decrease resistance, giving yourself a little more of a workout and a little bit more power for your device. This is so cool. <laughs> This is literally going to save the day or night. And then we have the solar panel on top. You can leave the stroller outside with the panel deployed and that'll add a little bit extra too. But because everything is these discrete housings and they're connected by cables, the stroller still folds. So we didn't compromise any of the, the useful aspects of the stroller. Nice, so it's easy to install. So cool, I'm just amazed. And then the battery bank itself, it has two USB outlets. So you can charge your phone or someone else's phone, or maybe even like a device the child might have. You brought us a potentially genius idea. Is this result potentially genius? This is genius, at least to me. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Well, thanks for bringing genius to us, and I'm happy we could bring genius back in return. Um, I'm excited about this thing. Let's uh, see if it's got legs too. and wheels. Me too. Thank you for thank you for having me.